More picks coming up. We'll hear from David Pollock and Urban Meyer. And of course, it's the headgear selection. LSU 9 and 1. Mancorso puts on Mike the Tiger. Not quite as good when it's Big Al. And our celebrity guest picker will cause a stir. The Giants. <laughs> Brian Wilson, the former oh. Bengal. Beard and uniform intact headed this way. College Game Day is built by the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. And in part by Dove Men Plus Care. Cheese at Real Fan Cam showing you the best turnout we've ever had in Tuscaloosa for the first ever SEC campus one versus two game. Uh, let's see the clock just about eight hours and change. We've got a Tom Rinaldi for more predictions. Tom. Thanks a lot, Chris. Well, we've built it up. We've broken it down. David, one key to this game, the central key. What is it? My, my biggest key is Alabama's balanced offense, being able to run with Trent Richardson, the animal, and the play action with A.J. McCarron. They've been more balanced all year. Biggest key to the game. Urban. Which group of receivers, Alabama or LSU, can shake loose from two of the best secondaries in college football? They'll win the game. Interestingly, we talk a little bit about offense in our keys to a degree. Yeah. We get to the time, the pick. Who wins one versus two, the game of the century? David? I think number two wins. I think Alabama wins. And Alabama wins because they have a better defense. That's, I think Alabama's going to show today they have the best defense in the country. Alabama gets the W at home. Evenly matched teams, both great defenses, home field advantage. I'm going with Alabama. We talked about it. A man who's been through four of these one versus two, the three times that he won, he was number two, and that's who he goes with in this one. Well, our celebrity picker on tap. Let's take a look. <laughs> he struck him out. The Giants have won the World Series. I think you just got to be a little bit off. You got to have that F you mentality. I do get morning beer. Currently, there's an Irish gig lady dancing. I haven't met her yet, but she's in this quadrant. Thought I was just going to keep it classy. Well, I got the bow tie. I feel like I want to rage right now. He's dressed and ready for battle in the purple and gold and white. For the Fighting Tigers and Mr. Corso, a, a, a nice tribute over here. San Leo. Francisco, where you go, baby? You look gorgeous, Corso. <laughs> Brian Wilson, I, I'm detecting I could be off base here, a, a slight bias Lean. in the big game. Slight, slight edge lead. towards the Tigers. We don't know. It might change. But these are Saturday selections brought to you by Chevrolet. You can go online at ESPN.com and play along. We'll begin and let the excitement build in the Big Ten. In minutes on ESPN, Iowa comes off a very deflating loss to Minnesota, but they've been a very good home team, undefeated at home. How do you see it? They certainly have, but uh, I'm a big fan of the Wolverine. Uh, they're a distant cousin of a panther, yes. and I like their claws, and that's why I got to pick Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Biological reason, I got yeah, it. Yeah. Clearly. Not so fast, reliever. Not so fast. Don't you point your pencil at me, yeah, Corso. Yeah, no, I, I will. I went a big upset over Michigan. I like Iowa, too. Yeah, I like Iowa at home, and the running back Coker is a difference in the game. Yeah, good. Spent almost two hours and not mentioned it, Notre Dame. Yeah. You know, times are different. It's Notre Dame and Wake Forest. Our first ever meeting between two five and three teams. Take a deep breath and a careful consideration. Everybody loves leprechauns. We've been over this. My clear answer is this. I love it. <laughs> Go with a beard. <laughs> He's going with Notre Dame. Notre Dame plays Wake Forest for the first time ever. Who didn't love Rudy? And Wake? Absolutely. Hopefully, that's a good reason to pick Notre Dame. Rudy was a great reason. movie. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, and yeah. when Notre Dame, three touchdowns at least. I think Wake can hang around with Notre Dame. Oh, but no. I think eventually Notre Dame's going to win the game. Yeah. They're that's demons. So. Yeah. Yeah. We have fun with shootouts in the, in the Big 12. The Tigers are coming off their first road win. Mizzou got a big win at A&M. The Bears only gave up 59 points last week. Franklin and Griffin, good quarterback, dual high-scoring thing here? Uh, Griffin is the man, okay? Yeah. You know, Heisman candidate we're talking about here. I got Baylor. Good pick. Thank you, Corso. Good pick. Now hey, we're on the Baylor same team. Baylor stops him one time. One time, that's enough. Baylor by field goal. Another Big 12 game yeah. where it's a shootout. Shoot. Shoot. Which, which quarterback has the ball last? I think Griffin's, you know, he'll find a way to get it yeah. done. Franklin will put up some points, though. UCLA has been sort of laughed at, scoffed in many quarters, not here. UCLA controls its destiny the rest of the way in the Pac-12 South if they can beat Arizona State as a home dog UCLA today. has great weather, good seating, bad team. 
Okay. So, ASU, that, that's where our spring training facility is, and uh, the women are hot, so uh, just saying. <laughs> I like the line. Just good, saying. Good pick. I tell you what, Arizona State's one game away from the Pac-10 Tele game. They win it. Yeah, they win it. I mean, Arizona State, Brock Osweiler throws the ball. UCLA yeah. needs to create turnovers, which they did their last game out, but Arizona State's too talented. UCLA's got to keep winning. They got to beat a few other people. Got yeah. see still to come down the line. You know, if we had a playoff system, even these folks would have to care about Cincinnati and Pittsburgh because the Big East champion would probably play in the first round. Right. The winner of this game. We don't have one, so not that many out there do care, but we ask you to care about Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. I do care, and we're going to go with the animal factor again. <laughs> Panthers. Oh! Panthers over Bears. Not so fast the second time. Another number two pencil. Number two. You don't point Cincinnati. that Ticonderoga. No, Cincinnati. <laughs> Cincinnati wins one for the AC, B, Big East over the ACC. I'm a National League fan. I'm a Reds fan, so I'm going to go with Cincinnati here uh, to knock off the uh, the Pirates. In honor of the conference where West Virginia sued the league, they sued them back. It's big fun in the Big yeah. East. A second. A second Big East big pick. Fun. Oh, man. Big what fun. are you doing to us with these? This, Syracuse two, this is two more than we've had and all Connecticut, year. Connecticut, a second Big East pick. You didn't see that coming. Huge game. My <laughs> best friend's from Syracuse. I'm actually going to his wedding next week, so you would think I'd pick Syracuse, but I'm not. Oh, man. You still Huskies going to the are good looking. They're sweet, and uh, they have a snow field advantage. Oh, <laughs> I like Syracuse it. in a preview <laughs> of the National Basketball Championship. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> Syracuse in an upset. I'm going with Bayheim here over Calhoun. Oh, yeah, I like right. Syracuse, good. too, to yeah. get it done. All right. The Gators have a four-game skid, but we all know they've beaten Vanderbilt 20 straight times, and Vandy hasn't won in Gainesville since 1945. I feel like me and Alabama are on the same page here. I'm a huge fan of sea captains, and I'm going to have to go with the Commodores. The Commodores. Oh, man. Just saying. <laughs> Not so fast, my friend. Florida, closer than the experts think. You threw the beard away. <laughs> huh? You're frustrated. Yeah. I'm going with Vandy's defense oh, to get it done. That's what I'm I think, talking I about. Vandy, yeah. I think Vandy's D will get it done, and I think Jordan Rodgers leads them to a victory. What do you think of that? Not keep it close. No. Win the Win game. Win the game. Win Outright. the game. Win the game. Wow. Just a fifth straight <laughs> loss. <laughs> wow. wow. That, that would be that would shake up the Gator Nation sure as would. they visit South Carolina next week. Speaking of South Carolina, they're in Arkansas, homecoming in Fayetteville. Almost nobody around the country paying attention to this game, Brian, but it's two top ten teams in the SEC. It's, uh, it's a weird mascot game. You get the backs <laughs> versus the cocks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and never bet against the Cox. <laughs> oh. I'm going with South Carolina. Oh, oh man. man. I got to. <laughs> All right. Good thing you're wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I think Joe Adams. Joe Adams. <laughs> Arkansas by a touchdown. <laughs> Keep it together, Kirk. Keep, we're almost there. I am. We I will there. go we're almost with Arkansas. Oh, Clean right. it up. Arkansas. Arkansas. The Hogs. Yeah. The Hogs. Okay. Over the game, Kyle. Yes, yes. All right. Now to the game that everybody in the whole world wants to talk about. The game of the century here. From a mascot standpoint, it's pretty clean. Fighting Tigers. Crimson Tide. Can the Sabac, Saban payback trend continue? Or will Les Miles' magic continue? We all know... He's 45 and four in night games. Here's what's at stake. It's a huge game. It's one versus two. So the winner has a good chance of going on to the, uh, the national championship. The rest of our season kind of depends on this one game. You know, with a loss in this game, this season could, you know, go down a drain. One of our main goals is to control the here is hype up big games and get real emotional about it. I mean, to everybody else, it's probably the game of the century. But to us, we just got to play this game like it's a regular game. You hear people saying it's the national championship already with one and two playing. We, we can't really look into that. We just got to go out and play how we've been playing and prepare and go out and execute on Saturday. I've waited all year to say this, Kirk. You're not calling the game. Sorry. <laughs> you can pick the game. You must pick the game. Looking forward to picking the game. You know, the one thing about this game, you think about all the, well, the last month or so, when people ask you who's going to win the game, you think about Alabama and the home field advantage. Even though at times the history of this rivalry, the visiting team has had the edge. There's something about LSU, the swagger that they've played with all year when they've gone on the road, where they're going to come into this place, not be intimidated, and welcome it. But I'm going with Nick Saban in the oh. revenge game. Yeah! Alabama oh. to get it done. Yeah, Alabama. 
Brian, stage left. I think I know where you're going, but take us there in your own inedible way. You know, I mean, if I had a trumpet on me, I'd, I'd try to play. What is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't even know how to play this. We'll see if it. Not bad. Roll that oh. tiger. Whoa. I mean, did I just? I know the Alabama song too. It's this. Because you're an elephant. Right? Oh. Got him. Buy your Bengals on the road, I'm guessing. I, you know, I think so, and I might have come with a little, a little ah. something here, so. Oh, I good. Mean, wow. Hey, with the beard. Job. With the with beard. The beard. <laughs> I don't know. All right. It just how's my hair. Hey, let Perfect. me tell you something. How, how can you pick against Alabama? How can you do that? Listen, listen to this song. Listen to it. Oh. Sweet of Alabama. Hey, sweet of Alabama. Hey, Corso, I will the eat bear. You. Nick, 13 national championship. Let me hear it. Roll tie. Let me hear it one more time. Century. We'll be back here before kickoff on another network to preview it. Enjoy your football Saturday. Dave Passion, Big Ten Country. Brian, thanks for being here, buddy. Thank you. <laughs>